discretion is advised. And she goes, <laughs> Are you filming? I think there's a rule where you need a kid to go in. What? I think so. What is, there's something going on. It is 4.30 in the morning and I can't sleep. Something that's been on my mind. That was like my first introduction to the, the sound that you hear at the casino. I recently went to a Chuck E. Cheese. What do you have, Tom? Money for the diseases. Is this what we're teaching our children? Is this what we're teaching them? Hi there. I just got an idea how to make Chuck E. Cheese's better than ever. Brand new pizza. Genius if I do say so myself. So I have a theory that I've wanted to talk about for a long time, but I don't know if anybody's gonna care except for me. I think it's crazy. I also don't know if this can get me like sued. So I'm gonna say once again, like just a theory, not a fact. Don't sue me. Could just be a joke, hoax, whatever. Now, this is something that I actually thought about when I was a kid. And I noticed something whenever I would go to Chuck E. Cheese. And my theory as a kid was about their pizza. Pizza at Chuck E. Cheese. Do you really know what I'm gonna say? Literally, no. <laughs> there is a theory that if somebody at Chuck E. Cheese doesn't finish their whole pizza and there's like a few pieces left, the employee will take that to the back, take those pieces off the tray, and form a new pizza with all the other leftovers, and then reheat it and serve it to a new customer. Now, I know what you're thinking, Shane. That's crazy. <laughs> well, here is a picture of the pizza Chuck E. Cheese. Every piece is a different size. That piece is longer than that piece, which is shorter than that piece. These pieces in the back are shorter than those pieces. <gasps> and none of the pepperonis oh, man. line up. Oh, shit. It's not just this picture. It's almost every picture you find of Chuck E. Cheese pizza. And nobody's talking about it. So I noticed this when I was like eight years old or something. And I was just like, wait a minute, how come all the pieces are different? And I remember specifically being like, oh, can we get half cheese and half pepperoni? The half cheese side was so fucking different than the half pepperoni side. Like crazy, right? I mean, if that's true, yeah, that would be probably illegal to do. Like FDA probably would actually cancel them. Oh. Pizza at Chuck E. Cheese. Once again, just a theory. <laughs> no, I mean like it, it, it looks like that. I mean, at the end of the day, if that actually is pizza from Chuck E. Cheese, I mean. I went there a lot. And it was always like misplaced pizzas. Really? Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> like every time you went, it was just like a, a collection of random pieces of pizza. Oh yeah, one time there was like one um, veggie one. One slice. And my mom's like, ooh, for me! And I was like, okay. <laughs> Wait, is it a Why is it there? They're, so they're claiming to make the, these pizzas on demand for you? Now listen, there is <laughs> a second part of this theory. I knew a girl in high school. I asked her about this because she was working at Chuck E. Cheese. And she told me that she couldn't say whether or not that's true, but that that was a thing. Like, that was something that actually was going on a while ago and they stopped it. But she also could have been lying, and who knows, right? So, I've never actually fully looked into this because, you know, I thought, well, who cares? Nobody's really gonna care about this. So I just Googled it, and I found like a form. And other people have noticed this too. Am I gonna get sued? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, somebody's probably gonna sue you. Really? So let's see what this form says. Okay, this person said, pizza that is not eaten, or so I've heard, goes back into a dough grinder. Place your pizzas onto the conveyor belt. This is my favorite part. And eventually gets reserved as part of a new pizza. It's recooked, so you don't have to worry about germs. That sounds... Somebody just said, tastes like it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you smell it, that garlic. Is this even interesting though? It is to me. I, I believe I mean, I, all those pictures of the pieces that don't fit together. That is pretty crazy. I mean, come on. It never.
never lines up. If you push this pizza together, there's no fucking way that's a circle. <laughs> I mean, right? It almost looks like they glued it together. <laughs> like to show like, no, it's the same. So they just like put a bunch of cheese right here and then they re-put it in the oven. Don't you pull that pizza out of the oven early. If you do, the cheese won't finish melting. Do you know what I mean? Cheese. To so, like I mean, hide the seams. <laughs> <laughs> we should order like a pepperoni. A like half cheese, half pepperoni. And then one with a specific instruction, like, oh, just onions, or oh, just a certain vegetable. Because they'd have to make that one fresh. What if they pick up every other? <laughs> <laughs> Ew! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's a frog. Wait, couldn't you objectively find this out by looking at the cut mark? If you're proud of the pizza masterpiece, Go ahead and cut it. They cut the pizza like this, and then it goes two different directions. If they were cutting the pizza, it would go right down the middle of that slice. Where, literally, where does this, where's this cut? <laughs> I told them, it's like, the more you look at their pizza, the more you're like, wait. <laughs> wait, where does that go? Wait, okay, ready? Yeah. So it starts here, okay. So then, what the fuck? Where is it going? Literally, where did it go? So clearly, there's something going on. Right. Literally, you could see the cheese right here. You could see the glue. You could see that they threw some cheese, like right here, to try to melt this shit together. Oh, yeah. There's the other half of this cup. Because oh, usually, when you whoa. cut a pepperoni in half, the other half is right here. Where is it? I think that this was a chunk. Yeah. And then I think this was two pieces that somebody didn't eat. Because you can see it doesn't even fit with the rest. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Fit. Maybe draw a circle around okay. that. And then this was a chunk. And I think this was some random ass person's piece. And then I think finally this was a chunk. And they put them all together. Another pizza by Pasquale with a lot of help from you, of course. If I was like an investigative reporter, right? I feel like I'm allowed to say all this. I'll send it to my lawyer. <laughs> Cause yeah. like, that's just the facts. Right. No wait, no it's not. It's just an opinion. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, we gotta go to Chicken Cheese. We gotta do this. Really? Yeah. Brad? It's on the TV. <laughs> Wait. Is there anything you notice about it that seems off? I mean, the slices are oddly small, but I kind of like that. <laughs> but look closer. That looks like the slices are from a different pizza. Yeah. I mean, it looks like they placed them. Well, the theory is that when people buy pizzas there and they don't finish the pizzas, the employees take the tray back. Ew, no way. And create a new pizza out of leftovers. Honestly, I mean, I, I wouldn't be, I mean, it's like Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I'm not dragging Chuck E. Cheese. I'm just saying, like, I mean, it, like. Why are you putting hands on the dogs? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we did a little product. <laughs> Have you ever asked an employee? My friend, and she said that that, that it was a, a real thing that they used to do. But also, like, she could have been lying, and I don't know. So I think we should go there, because there's a Chuck E. Cheese that I don't want to go to anyways. <laughs> I just found out a reason to go. What if we go really undercover and I get a job there? <laughs> <laughs> Waste of our time. Let's go get some pizza. I have plans! <laughs> <laughs>Management here isn't talking. They referred us to corporate who released a statement to Action News, which reads in part, Maintaining a safe experience for our guests is a primary concern for us. They added that maintaining a safe experience for children and their families is of, quote, utmost importance. Chalky cheese, the, the fucking talking rat. Yeah, and who knows if it's that rat, rat, rat. Oh. oh! It's almost like they did that on purpose, like it's set up that way.
One more, one more. Yeah, who knows? I mean, you don't know who's in there. I was just Googling to see if like Chuck E. Cheese has a history of lawsuits, <laughs> just in case. And I actually found people suing them. This was a $5 million lawsuit. And basically, this one was from parents who were claiming that it's technically gambling. Something that's been on my mind. I recently went to a Chuck E. Cheese. You know the place where a kid could be a kid? And what I saw. Those kids. Uh -oh. Gambling. I'm at Chuck E. Cheese right now. I'm a gambler. That was like my first introduction to the, the sound that you hear at the casino. Okay, pull it. This is what I've been gambling on. This is a future slots play right here. It promotes gambling. It teaches your kids how to gamble. All right, Sean, go ahead and have your spin. Is this what we're teaching our children? You want to see the biggest form of gambling for kids? Your parents give them these fucking cups full of coins, you know? Okay, now you gotta push the button. Let's see a big number. Is this what we're teaching them? What do you have, Tom? Money for the diseases. Where do you want to go with all your money? With the diseases. Chuck E. Cheese's. Yeah. You can put it in. This is the biggest form of gambling I've ever seen in my life. No one seems to care. I'm unstoppable. This is how you win in Vegas. Chuck E. Cheese version. Oh, lover. Let's go try a different one. Nobody cares. You know the place where a kid could be a kid? I think that's what gets me the most. Because, let's face it, money matters. Just think about that. Oh my god! What if that's why games, you always get one ticket? So then it's like, well no, you didn't lose your money. You got a ticket, right? Got it? Because you always win at least one ticket just for playing. At least one ticket. One! Like a good job, you tried. Maybe that's literally just a way to get around the gambling thing. Because if you didn't win a ticket, you just lost your point. Oh, whatever. yeah. Technically, you lost, which is like gambling. Still, though, I mean, it still is kind of like gambling. <laughs> oh, I never even thought about that. I love gambling. I love gambling so much. Is that because I went to Chuck E. Cheese every other weekend and learned how to gamble? Whoa, let's check the possibilities. And eat? <laughs> and that's why I love eating and I love gambling? I'm doing a YouTube video to show you that I have a gambling problem. Do this, do this. I said do this. That's my gambling problem right there. So yeah, I'm just showing you that I have a hardcore gambling problem. It's a conspiracy for another time. I honestly don't think I've ever been to a Chuck E. Cheese. It's iconic. I don't think I've ever been here, to be honest. It's iconic. I mean, uh oh, it's not to be trusted. <laughs> what a perfect pizza! But Squally would be proud. Oh, look at him! Fucking liar. C is for con artist. Oh yeah, I see you. Then he hops in his costume, comes out there, and now he's got his filthy fucking rat claws all over your kid. Wait, I feel bad because I actually really love Chuck E. Cheese. I don't want it to look like I'm exposing them. <laughs> You've been doing that so hard this whole video. <laughs> <laughs> I really do love it, but I'm just curious. I actually think there's a rule where you need a kid to go in. What? I think so. What are we gonna do? Hire a kid? Wait, is it weird walking in there with a camera? Oh. Maybe. Yeah. That's why, that's how they get away with it, right? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Made with Chuck E. Cheese excuses. We're teaching kids how to share. You let somebody else have your pizza. <laughs> you get somebody else's pizza. Everybody's happy. <laughs> so should I put the camera down? Maybe like have it. Just like, yeah. Do you want me to have it rolling? Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't know. But definitely just I would put it down. Wait, can I close this thing when it's still recording? If anybody finds this footage, we're filming a conspiracy video about the pizza. <laughs> Just... First thing you see when you walk in. It kind of looks like they're uh, just clearing the air right out of the gate. Don't even think about it. <laughs> oh my god, the big puppets. <laughs> Wait. Why do I kind of like it? This is the loudest place I've ever been in. <laughs> Subway and like <laughs> the question is if the pizzas come and they're all fucked up and obviously like leftovers, how are we gonna eat it? I mean yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Here you guys go. Get anything else? I mean, if that's true, yeah. I wouldn't be, I mean, it's like Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese's look a little, like, suspect, you know? And nobody is talking about the inflation rate. So we only have 143 tickets, which is basically nothing here. And I got 125 tickets, which is a lot. And what did I get but this thing? This is all I got. It spins around. So there's this rocket launcher. So I can load it up. And then all you have to do is squeeze. It does that. There's also this. You could just have some fun with that. Some fruit snacks. And for all them tickets, they got like fucking 9,000 tickets. They get a stuffed animal this big. It costs like... 200 tickets for a piece of candy. And you done blew $50 just so your child can walk out with a plastic spider that breaks as soon as you get in the goddamn car. They're kind of like broken though. That's highway robbery. Oh. oh! It's almost like they did that on purpose, like it's set up that way. I mean, that's like crazy, right? Crazy, right? The machine owner can specify how often they want a jackpot to be won. almost gets the bonus and stops just before it. Oh, so close, but yet so far away. And it should be investigated. At a number of restaurants, fun kitty parties have turned into chaos. I heard the fight that broke out. We have people fighting, punching. As the children run for cover. I need a cop, I need an ambulance, I need everything. Yes. So why does it keep happening at these places? Many Chuck E. Cheese's alcohol is served to adults. Imagine that, a kid-friendly establishment serving beer. 
that can't go together well. I have to say, it's insane right now. With the alcohol, I think that that just adds to the capacity to act out. Now what's Chucky doing in back before he puts on his costume? Is he taking a couple nips off of the bottle? Is he chugging a few beers? I hear he has this uh, attitude. Maintaining a safe experience for children and their families. Her hair getting caught in the machine, yanking her towards it. I really thought that it was going to take her scalp off. Is of quote, utmost importance. What about them ball pits, huh? They're filthy. There could be anything in there. You don't know what's in there. There could be fucking dead animals in there. Crazy, right? Crazy. Her toddler and her 11-year-old son found this. My son and his sister, the birthday girl, came upon a decomposing mouth. We are here to expose Chuck E. Cheese. There's oh, what is this? <gasps> Another mother shared video of the grimy conditions inside the play structure. This place is disgusting. There's poop stains all over the place. There's another skin mark. Huh? Chuck E. Cheese promotes gambling. So please tell me. Underage drinking. That this is not frightening. And unsanitary conditions. It's actual crap. <laughs> and it's like Chuck E. Cheese. Fuck Chuck E. Cheese. And fuck whoever invented it. It's weird because it looks like it was cooked the same amount throughout. Whoa. It's like jagged. I want to see if the cut's... The cut's not even. I mean, this one is way off. Wait, okay, let's let's push it together. Maybe it's an optical illusion. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Awesome. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's real. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, before before anybody digs in, I want to get like a real overhead shot of this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Check the pizza real close. The crust should be puffy, well rounded. Well rounded. I mean, this is crazy. This also, wait, look at the slices though. This wait, is look, insane. Look at them. Okay, let me take some pictures too. What's going on with the pizza? Uh, 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 no! Like, no! <laughs> about everything? And I was like, okay, so is it like, do they put a bunch of pieces together? And she goes, uh, are you filming? What is, there's something going on. She asked if you were filming. And I said, no. And she's like, no, no, it's, you know, it's just crazy back there in the kitchen. I'm like, what is on there? No, we're all out of the 
Yeah, I did hear what you said about that. I showed her the picture of ours, and I'm like, look at that. And she just started laughing. She's like, ah, oh, yeah, that's not good. Like, what does that mean? What does that mean? There was only one thing we could do. We had to get more cheese and buddy up. How have we not gotten arrested? I have no idea. We've been in a Chuck E. Cheese for three hours with a camera, three guys looking so creepy. I just walked back in there with a little girl, like going, show me your pizza. <laughs> Is it okay if, if we take a picture of it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> the lady working here is just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They probably see much worse. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they probably, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like a metal meter stick? That's like the perfect way to like check the line in the pizza, like to check how they cut it. There's a Home Depot right there. Maybe like, um, wait, let me grab the camera. Say, Right there. This. Shane, look at this. <gasps> really trying, Chucky. Really trying. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> What's going on? After all, your reputation, as well as mine, is on the line. rearranged the pizza to be exactly the way that we saw it in Chuck E. Cheese. I am gonna give them the benefit of the doubt because I love Chuck E. Cheese. Not sponsored. <laughs> okay, so first we'll do this. Kinda of matches up. And then this would be, this is like crazy. Okay, so I think we've proven that this, I think we've proven that these two halves we're never together. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, this is not good. When you line all these up by the tips, I mean, it's crazy. It's actually insane. <laughs> There's a piece missing. There's gotta be some sort of reason. There is a reason. I mean, I, legally, I'm not gonna say what I think that a reason is. <laughs> Good luck! And remember, the proof is in the crust! So, okay, here's the consensus. Um, I don't know. And I hope it's just an optical illusion. Are you trying- you think that this was this the same pizza the whole time? This is one pizza with just different coffee? Oh, that's what you're trying to say. I'm trying to prove anything to make it so that Chuck E. Cheese isn't actually doing this. I, had, I did not think this was gonna happen. That's a Chuck E. Cheese pizza right there. Look at this. <sighs> Huge pizza. And that's pepperoni. The pizza is here. Mystery still unsolved. Thank <laughs> you.